Now we want to look at the operation. The operation also ranges from simply and stress-free to the possibility of complex adaptation to the needs of the user. There are four rubberized buttons on the front. They are easy to reach with one hand and even wearing gloves it's not, it's not a problem to identify it uh, due to their positions. On the right side of the case we have the button 1 at the bottom and button 2 above it. On the upper right side there continues with the button 3 and finally on the front left there is button 4. The operating philosophy is called the tree level concept. Level 1 just open and start. Level 2 what are the buttons for? And level 3 settings of the menu. Let's start at level 1. Just open and start. This describes the quick and easy commissioning of the Tilo. You push the lens flap about 2 mm to the right to unlock the flap and let her go. She jumps up and fold away to the left. After about 3 to 4 seconds the image appears on the rear of the display. The image is not calibrated yet. It means not adjust to the ambient temperature. To start the procedure manually you fold the lens cover back in front of the lens for about one second. Don't close and lock it. Just fold it. Now the Tilo cal calibrates itself to the ambient temperature. Simple and easy. If the lens flap is damaged or even thrown off you can also calibrate it by pressing the button 1 for 2 seconds. I will explain later in detail why this calibration is necessary. Just so much in advance. As you can see the calibration suddenly improves the image. Because not well calibration leads to vignetting, stripes, thermal, loss of resolution and noise. So this is a short but important step. Level 2. What are the buttons for? Uniform, simple and direct. This is how Andres Industries describe the operation concept. The three most important functions can be operated using two buttons. Briefly pressing on button 1 changes the brightness and contrast of the display in alternating 8 stages. That means running to one after the other. First getting darker and then lighter again up to the maximum. After that it gets darker again. Briefly pressing button 2 activates the digital zoom. 0.8 times, which is native, it means not enlarged representation due to the combination of lens and sensor. Then 1 time, 2 time, 4 and 8 times. If you wear the Tilo on your head using a headband or helmet, the magnification should be set to 1 time. Especially when you walk with 1 time, it's a quite natural vision possible. If button 2 is pressed longer, the 5 preset filters are switched through. These are filter colorize the image according to the user's choice. So as shown here all warm areas appear light or white. Everything it's cooler in relation to this is displayed dark or even black. However it's possible to invert the color palettes. Everything that is warm is now displayed in black and everything that is cooler is light gray or white. The variation in red is very important because if you use the Tilo at night the red light doesn't dazzle your eyes as much and you don't lose your, your natural ability to see at night once your eyes have gotten used to the darkness. On the other hand I look on a display in black and white bright mode the eyes then need seven to nine minutes without a Tilo to get used to the darkness again. A total of 15 different filters or variation are available. Whether be you can deactivate all those 
or you don't need and activate those you want in the main menu. To change the filter quickly, as I said, press and hold button 2. So far the operation is simply and quite easy to understand. The Tilo is not only a thermal imaging goggle but also a headlamp with many different functions. All functions of controlling the headlamp can be reached by pressing button 3 and 4. This is where it gets a bit more complex because there are a few different choices here. There are three different colors white, red, infrared and brightness of which can be adjusted. Each color can also flash mode in a selectable sequence or in SOS code. From level 3 it goes deep down into the menu settings. Pressing key 1 and 4 takes you to the menu. Here's an overview of what you can set here. From the video signal output to zoom levels, which you can activate and deactivate here. The same for filters and appearance on the symbols in the display. Below we find a possibility of even personalize the Tilo and protecting it against unauthorized use with a pin code. Up to fine adjustment of the LEDs. Here it is absolutely recommended to take the instructions or at least the quick manual at hand. But these are all settings that usually only have to be made once. And you see the operating concept works very well. In summary one can be said if you stay on level 1 and 2 then you can hand it to a person who has never used the Tilo before and set it off within less than 30 seconds. The person know how to turn the device on and off and how to adjust the picture quality and turn the LEDs on and off if necessary. In the next part of this series we want to look at the advantage to be the smallest thermal glasses in the world. For this stay tuned be safe, it will stay exciting.